have a couple of things, Madam President, I want to talk about. One is this is a National Mental Health Awareness Month, just started today. Uh, Senator Stabenow and I have introduced some legislation, we we're introducing legislation this week, uh, Caring for America's Heroes Act, that would just look at what we're doing in the military. Uh, we're looking carefully at the military as it relates to what we're doing to help our veterans and to help those who serve. I was at Fort Leonard Wood uh, just a few days ago uh, at uh, Waynesville, Missouri, talking to the hospital personnel there about mental health issues as it relates to the many new inductees that come there and as it relates to the uh, the full-time force and the retirees that come there. And what the act that Senator Stabenow and I are introducing this week would do would be to treat mental health conditions like other health conditions for uh, dependents, for spouses, dependents, for retirees who now have a limit on what can be done and how many hospital days you can stay for mental health that's not the same limit for anything else. Uh, and there's no justifiable reason for it not to be the same limit. I think we're gonna have good support from the Defense Department as we work to try to get this done to just simply ensure that military dependents and retirees who are covered under TRICARE, for instance, uh, are treated in the same manner for uh, inpatient mental health services as they would be for any other injury or any other kind of health. Bringing those uh, to par with other uh, others is important. I asked the, um, the, uh, the, the Surgeon General of the Army at a hearing just a few days ago if the, the National Institute of Health estimate that one out of four adult Americans have a, have a behavioral health problem that if diagnosed can almost always be treated, if that one out of four would relate to the military as well, and her view was yes. She said, we, re we recruit from the, the general population, we don't have any reason to believe uh, that those numbers aren't reflected in our population as well. And so as we move forward, we need to be sure in Mental Health Awareness Month and in a month where as in every month, we should be always mindful of our veterans and retirees that, that we're pursuing uh, those solutions for them as we are for uh, the country generally. And hopefully, uh, we'll be able to work with the Defense Department and get this one gap closed in the very near future.